More than 76 million passengers travel through Chicago's O'Hare International Airport each year. But not many know who the airport is named after, or what he accomplished. But perhaps the most remarkable thing about Butch O'Hare is where his story begins. Edward Joseph O'Hare was a prominent lawyer and businessman in St. Louis. Taking an early interest in flying, he let his son Edward Henry O'Hare tag along on trips in Charles Lindbergh's mail flights. The younger O'Hare, having inherited a love for aviation, went off to the Western Military Academy, while his father moved to Chicago and began an uneasy business partnership with another famous Chicago figure at the time, Alphonse Capone. But by 1930, Edward Joseph, or Easy Eddie, as he had been known to be called, had turned against Al Capone and contacted the Internal Revenue Service, becoming a key informant in Capone's tax evasion case. Years later, Edward Henry, or Butch, O'Hare, was accepted into the U.S. Naval Academy when, in his junior year, his father was shot to death by Capone's gunman in 1937. By the start of World War II, Butch O'Hare was a seasoned naval aviator, and on February 20, 1942, he would become the Navy's first ace of the war. Flying off the deck of the USS Lexington, Butch O'Hare and his wingman raced to intercept nine Japanese bombers flying toward the carrier group. With the bombers only nine miles out, his wingman's guns jammed, leaving O'Hare alone in his F-4F Wildcat to protect the carrier. O'Hare dove toward the approaching bombers, shooting down five with precision fire and damaging several others. O'Hare's actions prevented the bombers from successfully attacking the carrier and its escorts. For his actions that day, Navy Lieutenant O'Hare was awarded the Medal of Honor and promoted to Lieutenant Commander. He would continue to serve in the Pacific until his death in 1943. During a night mission, his aircraft was shot down. His plane and body never found. He was posthumously awarded the Navy Cross. In 1949, Chicago's Orchard Depot Airfield was renamed in honor of Edward O'Hare, and in 1963, President John F. Kennedy was on hand to formally dedicate the airport. Today, it's the second busiest airport in the country. Travelers can see an F-4F Wildcat on display in Terminal 2, a monument to Edward Butch O'Hare.